What is going on everybody? We are looking at the Be Quiet 500DX today that comes in white or black and at a price point of $100. It's very nice to see a white edition of a Be Quiet case that is not special edition and comes as standard. So I'm very excited about this, very excited about the airflow and for the price point, how is it going to be building in this case? Let's find out. All right, so this is a mid tower and we're gonna look at the front IO right here. We have a USB type C 3.1, that's very nice to see. USB 3.0, power button reset and our auxiliary jacks right up at the top. We have a mesh dust filter right up here. Very classy with this black border design at the top here. And we also have three included fans now let's get the panels taken off this case and get it down to its bare form okay so we can see here we have a standard four thumb screw design here for taking off the side tempered glass panel so we're just going to do that right now and the plastic wrap on top is underneath the thumb screws so keep that in mind there's no warning stickers or anything like that saying it's tempered glass that we got to take off so a plus for that, because I always hate taking off those warning stickers that rip midway through taking them off and is attached to the glass itself and leaves behind a residue. So that's really annoying. So that comes off nice and easy. However, Be Quiet has had better implementation for taking on and off the side panels, which I wish we could see here, but it is not present. However, the standard method, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit more involved and you just have to be careful taking off the glass that's all all right we're going to take off the rear side panel over here so this is a standard two thumb screw design you just kind of pull and latch out these are also capped at the end so they don't come flying out you don't have to find them later so that's also nice Ooh, what is this we got a bit of dampening foam on the rear side panel very nice to see this inclusion here and to take off the front panel the manual says, pull it from the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do. And you can see, just like that, it's a little tough to take off and threw everything off the desk. So don't be scared. You have to really tug at it. It is quite abrupt and violent when it does finally break loose. So just keep that in mind. Also looks like we have another dust filter right here. And it's very easy to take this off, a kind of door hinge method with magnets holding it in at the end. And just take it right off. We have another dust filter down here. And you just slide that out of place. No need to remove that right now, so we're not going to. Also want to address some features that I see here in the back of the case. All right, so we have some pretty awesome stuff here. We have an SSD tray right behind the motherboard that is detachable via screw. And you just unhinge it and it comes right out. Also, this entire tray over here, which mounts two SSDs in the front of the case over here, actually comes down and out. It also includes this cable hider that hides the cables coming out of the side over here from the rear of the case. It's also really nice to see. Also, we have a removable hard drive cage. So that's really great to see that. So we can adjust that, move that out of the way in case we have a big power supply or a lot of cables. It's nice to have that modularity and having this much modularity in a hundred dollar case is really really refreshing to see also looks like we have a good amount of room in the back here for cable management maybe almost an inch so let's get into actually building this case all right so this is what is included in the accessories or the tooling for the pc case so it looks like we have motherboard screws we have ssd screws and hard drive screws so everything is sorted and it's not just thrown in a bag so that's nice to see that it's not all just jumbled together. I do like the separation and I appreciate that, especially for first time builders. So let's move on to installing the motherboard in this case. Just finished up installing the motherboard in here. Nothing too crazy, nothing overly complex. There's lots of space for your hands to operate in. However, we do have a radiator, a 240 millimeter radiator that is supposedly, I'm going to try to get on top here, but if it's not gonna fit, we're gonna to have to put it towards the front. I would have liked to see a little bit more clearance up top here to really accommodate for thicker radiators, but uh, you can only ask so much for $100, but a little bit better clearance on top would have been nice. So there is an RGB strip up over here that 
is not on camera, but is there, I assure you, but it does change colors and that is where that is routed to the IO. To install your PSU, you just take off this bracket, unscrew it, four screws around the corners. They are thumb screws, so won't need a screwdriver for that, but you can if you want to. Another nice addition is this foam that goes around the perimeter that insulates this from any sort of vibration or scratching the paint, so I like seeing that there. So all you gotta do is feed your cables through and slide in your PSU, like so. And before you push in the PSU any further, you can either attach the bracket first or afterwards, depending on your preference and whichever you find easier. I don't have a preference, either one works for me. You can either slide it all the way through and attach after the fact and just hold it up like so and attach the bracket and then screw it on or you can attach the bracket before and then screw in the bracket into the case frame. So right now I'm pre-wiring the entire PC case because I want to put the cooler up on top and a lot of the ports to plug in cables are up on the top and that will be blocked once the CPU radiator is installed up here. So I'm going to hold that off till last. But I also wanted to make note of some of the features over here. One of which is right over here. This is a clip right over here in the back of the case which holds in the wire for not only the fan over here, but also the LED strip from coming over here. So it's nice that that's added over there. The, the thought and engagement into cable management was definitely put into this case. This is not a standard feature on every single case, and I always appreciate it when it is there. So that's why I'm making a note of it. So I'm going to continue pre-wiring the entire PC case and then I'm gonna get the cooler installed. Another thing to note, or that I wanted to make note of, is that these fans are 140 millimeters. I'm not sure if I mentioned if they were 120 or 140 or not, but that's a big plus. 140 millimeter fans included, three of them, the Silent Wings two, great fans. Another awesome thing is that the fans here in the front are recessed and they don't intrude with that front panel. You don't need to route the fan cable out and behind over here to get it properly routed and cable managed. Instead, it can go right here through the recessed wall. So since there isn't much clearance on the top, uh, there is a way to push forward the radiator. This way you can fit the fans and everything else on the radiator without interfering with any clearance issues on the actual motherboard. So there's a row over here, and then there's also a row back here to start mounting things. However, you can only place the one tw or the 120 millimeter or 240 millimeter wide uh, radiators on this row instead of this row. This is for uh, 280 millimeter fans or 140 millimeter fans. Uh, so that's the reason why there's this offset here. So if you have a 280 millimeter fan, you might run into clearance issues. However, I can't test that right here because I don't have any 280 millimeter rads. So to install the GPU, this is nothing too new, but you just undo these two thumb screws and then slide back this slider. And then you can unscrew the PCIe slots over here. Um, can be a little different from other mechanisms, so that's why I showed it. All right, so for cable management, it's pretty simple back here. There is a ton of tie down points. We have tie down points along this, along this, along this, and this, and and even, no, nothing across here, but there's still plenty of tie down points for you to manage your cables as effectively as possible and plenty of room to do so as well. And if you're not using any hard drives like me, you can always use the extra added space in there to store cables into. I do like having this cover for the for the cables coming out the side over here also over here when you put ssds in the front you have a place for the sata and power cables to come through over here so it's all tidy and neat at the at the front and all the business in the back so it's really nice you also have tie down points up over here and plenty of cable routing holes all around the place to get everything nice and organized overall thoughts on the case for $100, this is a very well-engineered and well-thought-out case. Also, the performance is relatively good for this case. You can check out Gamer's Nexus video. For $100, you get a lot of stuff. A lot of things are modular. They're not all bolted in. You have a lot of flexibility, and you have a lot of space to do things. You also have three included Silent Wings 2 fans at 140 millimeters each, and 
you have three of them. That's a lot of value packed into a case. You have a USB Type-C port on the top. You also have an added RGB strip over here. However, you might think that's gimmicky. It's also nice that they added it in. And everything is solid quality. Nothing feels cheap. You have dust filters, magnetic on the top. You have dust filters over here and at the bottom. There's, there's really not much else you can ask at this price point and how well they did it here. And the amount of clearance that you have in this case is really well done. And it's not a huge mid-tower case either. All the tooling is excellent and well thought out. Everything is well machined and everything is high quality here. Really, really like this case for $100. This seems to be a sweet spot for cases now. And you get a lot of bang for your buck. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see more like this, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. My name is JD and I'll catch you guys in the next one.